there, Val. How are you doing? Uh, we're having a wonderful time here. We're talking, of course, about manatees. You know that. Are you, uh, what do you think? I hear everybody talking. What do you think about the manatee? I mean, how can you say? Well, I've been bonding with them for like 23 years. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> That's for one thing, especially with their engine on. I will canoe up and down. If I see a large white object, you know, or something like that, that's near the beach, I will be sure to call the Marine Patrol, especially after going over to confirm that it's a manatee. I will stay away from large white objects when I see them inside of the water. Excuse me, Secretary. Uh, does, does anybody have an actual count of how many manatees are? Yeah, Florida Marine, yeah, Florida Marine Patrol and Florida Department of Natural Resources estimate there's over 1,400 of them. Nine of them died last year. Not even, not even by the year before that. Well, I don't know how many were born in you know the wild, but there isn't enough being born to replace the amount that are being lost. Maybe there's a way to see where somebody can record. Disney World has two of them right now under license from the Florida Department of um, Natural Resources and stuff, and they have two of them and they're studying them inside of um, let's see, Epcot Center inside of the Living Seas. And uh, hopefully they'll figure out something to do with them because somehow or another, they, they might even have to end up making some river or preserve or something or they're going to end up without any manatees over here. Right, right. Because in a hundred a year, literally getting out of that, about 46 to 50 of them died by being run over by boats. That's not including how many were maimed. But well, we know that people are not going to do anything. Well, you've got to talk about it. If you don't talk about it, it's not going to become a subject. Yeah, but we've been talking for years and they still don't flow down. I mean, I wish there was a way that we could accumulate all of them in one space, which I know is almost impossible, but maybe SeaWorld or somebody. I've been with them up at Blue Springs, and I've been with them over at Manatee Springs, and that's off the St. John Rivers, and some is off the Swanee River. Right. And so really, they're inside of our Florida wildlife system. I don't know if the boat manufacturers can design some sort of boat that will just glide over a manatee instead of cut them up. Maybe like a hydroplane or a jet boat or something. But that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, because the thing is, is you, you know, you must have faced the fact that um, if there, there are 1,000 to 1,400 right now, 90 of them dying a year, if they don't replenish their stocks within about 20 years, I'll be gone. Yeah, they well, except yeah. for the ones in the zoos, but that isn't going to do any, you know, anybody really any good to see them. Well, I think what we need to do is, is get you a WSLA, which is funny. I'm watching you on TV. Don't do that to me. Well, uh, well, keep on going, you know. I've, I've got nothing here to do but waste an hour. <laughs> well, you know, uh, I like to get something done myself, you know, but there's really no way we can always talk about it, but if we don't see results by people stopping or whatever. Well, it's amazing how many people actually listen to this program, and, you know, we're heading off on a very serious subject tonight. Yeah. And entities are extremely serious because... I didn't see the billboard, I was just assuming... Uh, I'm glad you asked. Okay. That was a board. What are we going to do to protect manatees? I'll say the Richie Hotline number two five one five one two three. Give me a call, leave a message. Yeah, say whatever you want to. It's only a recording. <laughs> I, I, I do. I do come back after the show and listen to that. Uh, do you have a, can I ask you something personal, Richie? Sure. Yeah, the great. Oh yeah, I got two or three of them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can tell by talking to you. Well, I'm, I've got you know. Well, whatever. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> but I've always wanted to be a biochemist. You know, <laughs> you know the subject of the day is manatees. Well, I'll see you later. But, well, that's really exciting. 2543076. Now we are talking about something really dear to our hearts, which are manatees. And dotones. Dotones and manatees. Hello, Richie here. Hello, Richie. Yeah, we're here. Well, I think now that it's so, uh, what am I trying to say here? Still on the boats? Yeah, um, they get these punks out in their dad's boats and all, and they don't know how to act in the river and all, you know? Well, well they, first off, they don't know what a manatee does, half of them. I, I'm serious, a lot of them come down from up north, and they've never seen a manatee before in their life. You know what I mean? Right. They think it might be a floating garbage bag or, you know, a hefty bag or something. What would they look like is a floating hefty bag. You know what I mean? See? And, you know, it's like a big green bag. And they just, you know, take a look at it and they just naturally plow through it. Maybe they think garbage will open up on it, you know? Well, I've been out with family a few times. And then some of the young kids and all, they're about running out the, the, the river, you know? Yeah, well, boating's, you know, I mean, let's face it. When, when you give a kid 
14, 12 years old, you know, unless you were inside the boat with them, I mean, you know, permission to, permission to drive it. I would it, you know. Right, right. But somebody else does. Well, they should have stricter laws and maybe a certain age limit on it or something. I don't know. Well, you know, the voters should figure out something to do because, you know, some sort of educational course, even though they got Coast Guard approved courses, you know, and boating courses. It still, you know, is very terrible to see somebody tearing down the river <laughs> over manatees. You know, I mean, I've been to Crystal River before, and even though they've got no weight zones, it's like these guys just full throttle it, you know? Right, right. And that's where a lot of the manatees stay. You know, you can count 80 or 90 manatees in one area. Yeah, I've seen them down through there. And even though, you know, there's probably, a, you know, people trying to patrol the area, it's like these guys just have no concern for the manatee. But that's, that, that's why, you know, there, there's got to be something done. If there's nothing going to be done, then, you know, it's going to be a tragic loss to everybody. I agree with that 100%. And they're losing a lot of manatees right now in South America because it's not just along the Florida coastline. It's also down in lower parts of South America, Venezuela, and through there. And they're losing a lot of them to voters. Right. Well, here's someone else wants to say a few words to you. Richie. Yeah. Um, this show about manatees is important, and I've seen them when I went to the Epcot Center in the underwater. Yeah, that's what I see. Right, and uh, they're, you know, really cute, I guess is the word for them. Well, I... They're so ugly, they're cute. Well, I've been dumb by them before, you know. I, I wear a gray green wetsuit when I go up there and stuff, and they just sort of like, you know, put their face in front of my face and go... <laughs> I'm serious, they do, you know, and then they go back up there, get some air and stuff. They smell. Are they not all animals? Well, yeah, they, you know, I mean, they're, they're even like me. I mean, they're like everybody. They, they have no enemies, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just a damn shame, but there's not too much we can do, you know? Well, they're not carnivorous either. You know, they don't eat meat. All they do is they eat vegetables, you know? I mean, it's like, you know, they're not vegetables, but, but they like cabbage a lot. <laughs> what are you getting cabbage? Well, yeah. Um, matter of fact, people have been feeding them cabbage for the last, you know, two or three years. I think you're being real. I thought... Yeah, no, I'm serious. They do love cabbage. Well, okay, what, do you know what your show's going to be about next week? I mean, this is an important show, but I like the other ones that are more fun. Oh, yeah, I'm having a fun next week. I'm going to interrupt you. I have an emergency call for 254-2754. No, no, thank you. We're a talk show. Thank you. It's from Robert. Would you release the line? Sure, why not? Thank you. For you, right? Sure, I'll release the line, Robert. Robert, Robert. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, let's see if Robert comes through here. Robert, we're waiting. Get it with the music, bro. Hello. Yeah, here. Is this Robert? No, it's not Robert. I don't use those idiot pranks, things, lying to the operator saying there's an emergency. I do it legitimate. I just keep, keep hitting redial. Oh, okay. That sounds good. <laughs> hey, hey, you know, to face reality, really, there's not a whole lot can be done for the poor critters. You know, it's, it's people that are there killing them. People get out there to get drinking, and they don't care about anything, and, they, and their boats are, are destroying the, the, the manatees. It's, it's a sad fact, but I think, you know, it's going to be sea of manatee. Yeah. Unless you take a, a three or four rivers and say, well, people, you're not allowed here. If you've got an outboard engine on your boat, and then, you know, you can't do that. I know. That's one of the hardest things to do. And there isn't enough people to actually watch every manatee that they've got. You know what I mean? Well, you know, the way I would solve the problem, if I was a dictator, but, of course, <laughs> I'd be overthrown, I would make uh, manatee mines. Manatee mines? <laughs> got it. That way they, they think, is it? A mine or is it a manatee? And people would definitely slow down because if they came anywhere near a manatee mine, they know the boat would get blown to bits. So then, if when it's manatee season, that's when you let these manatee mines out in all the rivers, and people would go slow for fear of losing their boat and their lives. And that, you know, might save the manatees unless they're swimming around a manatee mine but an idiot boater floats over. But I think manatee mines are the only way you're going to save the manatees. Hmm. Sounds extremely interesting. Hmm, a manatee mine. 
Well, um, unfortunately, we can't do that. We can't mine our own rivers. Well, you know what the alternative is? is goodbye manatees, you know? Somebody's got to do something about it. Hopefully soon. Manatee mines, Richie. Manatee mines. Manatee mines. Okay, I'll see you. Bye. Well, that was really interesting. How can you protect a manatee? Something that's swim free, you know? It's like, what do you do? You can't put a collar on it. Hello. Oh, Richie. Yeah, here. Hi. Um... My name is Wayne Christnitz, and hello, excuse me, to a telephone company emergency for 254-3076 from Robert. May we use the line, please? Uh, tell Robert uh, he can call 254-1687. That line's open. I can't tell him anything. I just, you can hear anything else. I just have to tell him one thing or the other. Well, Robert's watching my TV show right now, so he, he knows the extra line. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yo, Richie. Yeah, still here. Uh, speaking about Blue Springs, I was up there just a little while ago, and uh, <clears throat> you know that boil that they got down there? Yeah. You swim down to? Um, the one that looks like a crack in the earth? Yeah. Yeah. Back down the boil. Uh, Before you hit the trees, it's about 20, 20 feet, basically, and you have to give your card to the people up there. Yeah, well, you have to walk down that big... Uh, yeah, it's, it's about uh, 600 feet at least. Yeah. But what I usually do is I, I go down half. I go to the dock right down below there, and I swim upstream. Really? Yeah, it's hard to do, but I do that anyway because, you know, I, I wear doubles when I go down there. Yeah, well, speaking of manatees, uh, you know, it's too cold for alligators, but there was a manatee swimming down there last time I went there. Yeah, well, um, during the wintertime, say around January, when it's really cold, you'll, you'll find about 17 manatees there. I've counted them, 17 to 23. But it cuts off, you know, there's the cold water, and then there's the hot water. Yeah. Well, it's the same thing like Taylor Springs, which is right up from there. You can find some manatees up there, too. Yeah, and we're fishing, and there was one passing right by there everywhere up there, so. Yeah, well, you know, they come up the Downs River and the Swanee River, and um, literally they just, you know, hang out. Because the Gulf is cold, and they need the warmer waters, and they know, you know, they've been living here for centuries, and the cows and stuff have literally showed them uh, where they can go in order to be, pre you know, protected. But from the cold. But what I was going to say, you know, it's cold in that water down there where it cuts off, and I saw some manatees swimming in there, and I thought they were only swimming cold, or warm. Well, you gotta understand, uh, spring water is not exact. I mean, we're, we're talking constant temperature 72, 73, 74 degrees. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, so, so basically, um, they're looking for that. And believe me, when you're in the Johns during the uh, winter, sometimes it gets as low as 62, 63. Yeah, they uh, got that Lake Penny, uh, what's that called? Lake Penny, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Tennis off and stuff like it's Kentucky Springs and all those interesting places. It's all around there, yeah. I just want to call up. Well, I've been seen by Jenny Springs before. All right. All I got to say, I just want to say, I love you to win you through all right? See you. Hey. Hello, what's here? What's here? Finally got in. Hey, where are we trying? You know, uh, touching on all the viewers, um, two points upon the manatee issue, and I think that everybody, you know, doesn't like to see these manatees die, and we can conclude that these 90 manatees that get killed every year are probably killed mostly by because judging by the majority of the viewers, uh, they say that, you know, they don't want them to die, but the majority of the people in Tampa. Well, figure it this way. Yeah. Okay. You, you decide to go out on your boat. Right. Um, you know what a river is, right? Right. And you just full throttle it. Don't you think you might hit something with an right. right, therefore there needs to be not manatee, manatee warning signs, but there needs to be, like, something that's going to scare the people. Not, you know, not, you know, kind of like... I, I hate legislation. You know what I mean? That's the government telling you you have to do this, you no. know? So we want to, we should put signs up, like, uh, man and alligators slow speed down, and then that way they'll slow down, and, and, and then really they'll be helping the manatee. Well, well, they won't buy that. <laughs> well, I know, but, you know, the guy Because voters want to run over there eating alligators, you know what I mean? <laughs> so we have to come up with things like that, yeah. Well, either that or maybe even a radical design of the boat. Right, well, anyway, I left a lot of messages on your answering machine. You'll probably know who this is. Okay, well, as long as you're not Robert. Well, no. <laughs> yeah, you'll know who this is. See you. Well, that sounds like another exciting phone call. Manatees. They're interesting. They're huge.
You're gigantic. What can you do with 